Okay, this video is to help you with your lab reports. We're going to look at nine major lab mistakes, or in other words, lab fails. But we're going to focus on the ones that are easiest for you to fix. First one is to formulate the research question. Here's an example. In class, we used a mini launcher to launch a projectile and see how far the projectile would go. This is not a question. How far it would go? Fail. How do we improve on this? It's better to say, how does factor X affect factor Y? So, in this case, how does the range depend on the angle of elevation? That's what you have to do. How does X affect Y? Second one. The hypothesis has to be there and it has to have a scientific argument. Let's go back to our example. I hypothesize, or rather it says here I hypothesis, that if the angle is 45 degree, 45 percent, it will go the furthest. Now, this is just a random guess and there's no scientific, scientific justification. So, fail. To improve on this, they should give a reason. If it is fired vertically at 90 degrees, it will be in the air for a long time, but it will not travel very far sideways. If it's fired horizontally, etc., etc. Give reasons. Now, the table is often a problem. The table must have a title, column headings, and units. Here we have a data table, which is nicely described as data table. What kind of description is this? I know it's a data table. You don't need to say that. I want to know what's in the data table. Another thing, there's no mention of the the units or what's being measured. Trial 1 is. What is 214 watt? It doesn't say. Fail. How can we improve on this? Well, first of all, the description should be much better. For example, the table, this is in a table of the elevation versus the range of projectile. Second thing, um, there should be a row above this column saying what it's measuring, and it's basically how far the, the, the missile is traveling, or the range of the projectile, or something like that, with the units. This would be a good example. Notice you just need another row above the table. Now, another thing about the table is that they need to be consistent with the uh, precision and you must have numbers only in the cells. Here, for example, you should have numbers there, not the units. The units should be in the column heading. Also, here we've got 2.2 seconds and also 2 seconds. If you're going for one decimal place, all the values should be one decimal place. So we have a description here. Results is not a very descriptive description. <laughs> Fail. So how can we improve on this one then? First of all, we see we've improved here. There are no units inside the table. And also, uh, 2 is not written as 2. It's written as 2.0. Notice we're now consistent with the decimal places in each column. and we have a better description. Third thing, um, the next thing is graph. It must have a title, labeled axes, and units. This is the worst graph I've probably seen for a long time. Um, the first thing is get the variables the right way around. The x variable, the horizontal variable, is basically what they changed. They didn't change the distance, they changed the angle. So these are basically the wrong way around. So what did they change? The independent variable, they actually changed not the distance but the angle. Fail. Now basically if you took this graph and you flipped it and rotated it, uh, uh, that would be a better graph. Here it would be the angle and that would be the distance. Of course, it's all back to front and everything because I just had to swap it all around. So now the x-axis is the angle and the independent, which is the independent variable, and the y-axis is the distance, which is the dependent variable. Next thing, graph. Um, 
when you get out, you should do a scatter graph most of the time, and don't do dot to dots. You notice this person has joined up the dots as if they're making a flower. Why do they have to join all the points together? It's not a dot to dot picture. This is a dot to dot picture. My daughter does these. Fail. This is a much better example. You notice the same data, but we've got a line which goes through the middle. So the line of best fit is to show the average trend. It's not to show all the points. We just want to see the overall pattern. The evaluation. Um, these are the results. What are the results? Are they accurate? And what are the improvements? We all worked well in our group and did the lab quickly and efficiently. That is not an evaluation. This is all well and good, very commendable. However, it tells me nothing of specifically what went on with the method or the data. Fail. A better example. We could start off that way, but then give specific examples. The line of best fit passed very close to the points, with the exception of 20 degrees, for example, and it should have been whatever. Um, the repeated values were all very close to each other. That's an important thing to observe, so the values were precise. Notice we've got a judgment on the overall quality of the results taken and a specific example of poor data is given and we give an improvement, um, a suggestion for improvement. Also we give a judgment on the, the precision of the readings that were taken. So there we have it. These are the summary of the, um, of the points. So good luck with that.